Welcome, it's a great day to be a miner. Beside me, this is a Mars Lander V2 with four additional USB sticks and uh, it has been traditionally the BTC mini solo mining lottery ticket champion until today. We're gonna talk about it, but first, let's spin that intro. Again, here we are. This is the Mars Lander V2 purchased from Bitcoin Merch. I'll make sure to put links for it down in the description. Recently, I purchased this guy and I set it up and I even bought a new USB hub that's extra powerful and set up all these sticks. And this thing's doing 1.3 plus terahash on only about 80 some watts. And uh, it is solo mining Bitcoin in the hopes that someday I will hit a Bitcoin block. Currently, a Bitcoin block would earn me $430,000, but the chances are pretty low with only 1.3 terahash. This guy was kind of the king type setup on a little itty bitty USB type miner. Yes, there were some other alternatives but this guy has been traditionally been holding that crown for quite some time. And just like time continues to creep into the future, a new king shall be crowned. Today, I am here to talk about the Canane Avalon Nano 3. Recently, my man RPM, Red Panda Mining, Motor City Miner, and Voscoin have all picked these things up and did a nice tutorial video showing these. Make sure to check out their channels, especially Motor City. I'll make sure to put him for a link down in the description, and I'm sure you're already subbed to Red Panda and Voscoin. But yes, they have really good videos showing these. Let's pop a picture of this guy up on the screen. So yeah, it's a beautiful little piece of hardware. So. I just want to give you the background of what it is compared to what this is. Compare the performance of the new Avalon uh, Nano Mini 3 um, compared to, the, say, this guy. And then we're going to talk about the price to performance and we'll get into some nitty gritties and how you can actually buy this device. So first and foremost, the Canane Avalon Nano 3 it is still kind of a project it's not in full mass production but it is in current production that means these items are actually out they're in people's hands people are currently testing them out it is just a mini miner it's about this big it's about an inch thick it has a grill on the front and back it's all a single contained unit unlike say this kind of a guy although this is a nice really pretty rgb contained unit and great for your shelf um, it is a much smaller, thicker unit. It's much like a really heavy duty size uh, power bank. And it has vents on the front so that the heat can be exhausted. It's actually being advertised as a type of a miniature portable heater, which is an interesting um, take for a Bitcoin miner. But I mean, if you think about it, all miners are technically heaters. This setup's only running 80 watts, but man, I can feel the heat coming right up off these USB sticks. And I definitely cannot lay my hand on those heat sinks. So, so yeah, these are heaters in essence, but uh, yeah, so there it is. So now let's talk about the Canane Avalon Nano 3. It is, what? why is it so awesome? It boasts that it runs up to four Terra hashes. This entire setup with the power brick and the USB hub and the five different USB sticks and the little Raspberry Pi, this entire setup is only doing 1.38 Terra hash and it's only running about 80 watts at the wall. So the power is not too bad on that. So the power performance isn't too bad for this setup. So look at all of this compared to a single contained unit. That single contained small unit will run up to 140 watts. 140 watts will get you four tera hashes. That's more than 3x, closer to 4x of this entire setup for your hash rate. So the Avalon Nano actually has three different power settings. You can run it on a 140 watt, you can run it down to a 100 watt, and then you can run it on a power saving mode of 65 watts. And on 65 watts, Red Panda showed his on the 65 watt mode, and it was running 2.8 terahash. So 2.8 terahash on 65 to 70 watts, he was running 70 watts at the wall, 
2.8 terahash compared to 1. Point nearly 4 terahash. Giant big setup, nice contained single unit. So before we go into our price comparison and whatnot, let's jump over onto our remote system and let's check this out um, on the uh, official websites where you can actually purchase it. We're gonna talk about price and we're gonna talk about whether or not you should buy them. So let's go hop into that session, go. Okay, here we are, we're over into our remote session now. We're looking at the actual site. This is the Indiegogo site and it is, if you're unfamiliar with that, it's it's more of a, a charter type project site where a lot of new projects can launch and they kind of get the donations in and that way they can bring the money in without having to do the whole front end, the whole back end payment system. and. It's kind of like an intermediary. So here is where this is actually listed initially. Um, of course, you can pick it up on mineshop.eu and we'll show you that in a minute as well and link it down in the description. But here is the main site. So there is what the product looks like. The Avalon Nano 3 blockchain smart home and it's listed as the portable heater that mines Bitcoin. So yeah, they're really kind of marketing that portable heater angle which is kind of interesting um they have a quick video on it uh we'll just kind of show you not sure why they're melting ice in front to show that it's a nice heater it's a, a nice everybody needs a nice muffin on top of their bitcoin heater oh they're gonna toast them up for <laughs> anyway so they there's the little video. So, of course, you can see that it does come in multiple colors. You got your black, white, you've got a pink, a canary type yellow, and they call this midnight blue, but it looks more like a, a navy, uh, more of a royal uh, or navy blue, I would say. Um, so, don't be scared off by this price over here. What we want to look at is on to the right. Let, first, let's look at the description of what they're calling this thing. And they say, what is the Avalon Nano 3? It is developed and produced by NASDAQ listed company Canane Inc. It belongs to the Avalon product line. Think about all of our confusion during the winter. Fresh steaming tea cools down in a minute. Got cold hands or feet in front of your computer all the time? Staring at the ceiling before going to bed and feeling like a lack of warm vibes? Well, guess what? With the Avalon Nano 3, all the troubles in winter are re readily solved and you can obtain a warm and unique little world of your own. Feeling unbelievable. This is the Avalon Nano 3. Um, so as we scroll down through, they're just showing some different pictures of the different units. There's our blue. There is our pretty pink. The yellow is really bright and interesting. And then, okay, so here is where it actually goes into kind of your function and what it looks like. So you got your logo on there. You've got a little uh, digital screen. Uh, it looks like about a one inch by one inch little monitor. Um, you've got a button for your modes and you got a button for power. Uh, on the side, you've got an air outlet and uh, it says 40 to 60 C. That's pretty decent warm air. Um, the front panel actually pops off here. Um, and then it gives, of course, the specs. Um, 140 watt max power consumption. Um, that, And then the noise is quite quiet, 33 to 36. Power consumption, it can be configured using 140 watt, 100 watt, or 65 watt. It is compatible with those three powers. Please note that 100 watt PSU only supports using at 100 or 65. Obviously, you cannot run... Uh, 140 watt mode on a 100 watt power supply. So that's interesting. Um, there's our five color options, white, black, midnight blue, peach fuzz, which looks like a pink, and a bright yellow, which I kind of refer to as like a canary yellow. Um, and I think that's, oh yes, yes. To manage the device, it actually runs on a nice remote app uh, the Avalon remote app. You can um, look at your different operating modes. You can change the little RGB color that's up there on the front, which is pretty nifty because we all know that RGB adds hash rate. So yeah, there's that. Um, you can add all your inf devices into one nice app, kind of like a power app, um, like one of your Wi-Fi outlet type setup apps, which is nice to have so that you can control them all on one app if you have multiples. Um, why we list why we uh, launched it risks and challenges shipping stage um, like I said so a lot of these are in hand already 
um, but I do not have it in hand, but I do have multiple orders. So let's go up here and now it, you want to purchase this thing, right? So how much is it going to cost you? So I'm using US dollars and that's what it's going to display in initially right here. So it says the Avalon Nano 3, that is the one with no power supply, um, right? Let's pull it down. I can't really get the screen. And let's pull it down right here. So this one right here is the one that has no power supply. It says $100 US and it's estimated shipping of May. Um, 70 out of 1,000 claims. So plenty left in that category. Now, what about with full set? It doesn't really explain that with full set means that it's going to come with the power supply. So I highly re recommend go ahead and get the with full set. $27 extra, you get the 140 watt power supply. That's a pretty solid price. Um, also says current May 24. See the original February 2024 has now been crossed out. Um, and there's only 162 left for, for that. That is the black. The black is $127. Now you want to go with the full set with the um, nice colored so you're going to pay 129 for that set right here. The initial batch of the Avalon Nano was $97. Super Early Bird, $97. Early Bird Full Set was 107 So those are all gone, obviously. You can't get those. We've already missed out, but we still can get in on these at an amazing price. These are a great price. And I'll tell you why later on the price to performance comparison. Um, but yeah, so... Let's just go to look at the colored full set, like we're going to purchase one. And right here, so you got $7.97 out of 1,000 claim. That means there's not a lot of those remaining. Comes with the power cord, the power supply, and which is just the power supply and power cord. That's one piece, in my opinion. Yes, it's two pieces, but it's one piece, plus the actual main unit. You can get it in the bright yellow, the peach fuzz, or the midnight blue. So if you wanted to get, say, the yellow... You would hit continue to review. And then it's going to pop up and it's going to show you your contribution. Let's pull down the screen right there. Your contribution, $129. But then it's going to automatically dock on $36 shipping to my location that's in the eastern United States. So now it's popping me up to $164 US. It has right here SGD, that's the Singa Singapore dollars, SGD uh, 221 in, in theirs. So if I went to proceed to checkout, so when you go to checkout, it's actually gonna add an Indiegogo tip on there automatically. So you're gonna wanna change this, change it to other amount. I did $5 on my order just because I respect what they're doing, like the whole project, just as a, a tip. But you can put zero. You're still going to get your unit. I don't think it's going to change your priority at, at how fast you get the unit. So, yes, you can change the other amount to zero. Let's put a zero in there. And now your, your total is... 164 dollars then over on the left it's going to tell you how to pay it's going to give you you're going to have to put in your demographics of course in my opinion you should create an account with indiegogo first so that way you can quickly check back on your order i create an account it's really easy you set your password blah 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 normal demographic stuff then you're going to put in your um your shipping address and your order address you're going to put in a credit card number. It also offers grab pay. I've never used that. Um, I had to use a Visa card and it took my Visa with no problem. I did have issues with a debit card, so that's something to be aware of. Uh, and then once I finished, I hit I agree to the, the terms and I hit pay, submit payment. It processed. It sent me the uh, order number, sent me an email directly, instantly, um, showing that when my shipping date is and what my order is. The... Personally, I have ordered three different units. I ordered two units in one order. I ordered one unit in another order. And then I ordered from Mineshop. So we could go over and jump to Mineshop, look at it. So I ordered them at different times. 
and I ordered different units in different colors and I want to see how fast I get each one and if there's any difference and of course I had a little bit of difference variation on my payments the tip amount I actually get charged more shipping on one unit even though it went to the same place I, I have no idea why but yeah there's that so let's go over to mine shop and see if it's still listed there okay so yeah I'm over in mine shop and yeah it is it is listed here for sale um, right there it is and it shows your price and of course it's not showing in US dollar because that's not the default currency for this um, but it does show kind of the stats on the thing right here it shows your algorithm your SHA-256 your hash rate for terahash power consumption 140 watts it could mine BTC BCH Bitcoin cash of course you could put it on Bitcoin cash and try to solo mine that if you um, would rather you have more chance of hitting block of course a block is like one one hundredth of what it you would get paid out for in a bitcoin block so yeah there's there's that um and then of course you could go ahead and order through here and it's kind of just a pre-order um so i did order one through there they are sold out there as well you're not going to get them instantly it says delivery the end of april mid-may and yeah expect i, I talked to guntus make sure that you realize that they don't have them on hand and they're going to get them on hand when they're shipped to them they have a large order in and they are waiting for their supply as well so there's that um i've always done dealt well with mine shop and i do have an affiliate link with them i'll make sure to post the link for this down in the description as well so yeah there it is it's on mineshop.eu it's on indiegogo you can buy it on indiegogo and it's kind of more direct um but it's going to want a tip and then it's not like dealing directly with a company, whereas Mine Shop is a trusted company that you're dealing with. So, however you want to do it, I've ordered from both. I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted when I get either or both. That way I can tell you how quickly I got them. But I don't expect to receive these for for a few weeks at least. So, so let's go back to the table and we'll talk about a price to performance comparison, whether or not you should buy, and then let's get out of here. Let's go. Okay, so let's talk the price performance real quick. So this again is less than 1.4 terahash and it's running 80 watts. So just loosey goosey math would tell you 80 watts times two, 160 watts. If we doubled the hash rate, we're talking about 2.8 terahash for 160 watts. We're talking about four terahash for only 140 watts. So clearly way better efficiency on the new Avalon Nano. And that's on the high powered 140 watt mode. I suspect that the lower power watts, uh, power modes actually have slightly better efficiency. Actually, I know that the lower power modes have better efficiency. Uh, Red Pan has already looked at that. So yeah, we, we know that the new unit is way more efficient. So the efficiency is way better. So what about the price? So how much did this whole setup cost me? This is well, well over a thousand dollars setup. This alone that does 285 giga hash, give or take, costs $400. Just this guy right here. These sticks each cost about $140 if you're buying just the sticks. This power supply costs seventy dollars. So this whole setup at over a thousand dollars does not even come close to the power use efficiency or the hash rate of this new Avalon Nano Three. And what's great about the Avalon Nano Three, if they actually can deliver these at the price point that they're giving us, man, it's it's a no-brainer. Like that's the same as buying one of these single USB sticks. This is $140 just for one stick. That's what, and then you, you know, that's with the fan. That's $140. Then you have to run the fan. You have to have either a hub or you have to plug it into a computer. You have to run a miner to run the stick. You have to have a separate unit like this. You have to buy a bit axe, which is a really good unit that is actually more efficient and more price to performance than this possibly, but you can't really beef it up as much as this guy, I think. Plus it doesn't look nearly as pretty. But but the key point is, the price and the performance of this new unit is amazing. Should you buy it? Yes. Go. Do you have expendable income? Go buy it. Will it ever pay for itself? Maybe not. 
is it worth the shot at $150? Absolutely. If you can afford it, of course, not financial advice. If you cannot afford to lose $150, please don't go buy this unit. Please be smart with your money and don't put yourself in a terrible situation. But if you have $150 to buy a single unit with the power supply, I think it's a no brainer. Pick one of these things up. If nothing else, it's a really sweet, cool unit and you can kind of show it off. It's cool to talk about. It puts out heat. If you want some heat on your desk, you work in a drafty spot. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a cool overall unit and it looks like it's really fairly an easy setup. Has a really cool app. It's based on Brains OS. I forgot to mention that. That is like a huge uh, Bitcoining, Bitcoin mining firmware that's used on a lot of different ASICs. So this is not some fly by the seat of the pants, thrown together type hardware. It seems really quality. The only hesitation I have is there have been a number of companies in the past that have promised and not delivered. The fact that these are already in hand give me very good hope. I've seen pictures of them in production. I think that there's a 99% chance that these all go out. You get what you ordered and you're happy with your purchase, but there's always that little bit of chance. There's always that tiny chance that it doesn't come in. Uh, Squirrel Labs way back in the day, um, there was a couple of the hotspot miners that just took everybody's money and then threw up the deuces and didn't produce them and basically essentially took people's money. So there's always that tiny little chance, but would I advise buying it? Absolutely. Pick one of these things up and uh, I think that about covers it for today. Make sure to comment down below. Tell me what you think of this new miner. I think it's pretty amazing if it delivers like it promises. So if you're new to mining and you need some help, make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord. There's always plenty of seasoned vets in there willing to help you out. And if you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride.